Ray tracing, huh? Gimmick? Mm, maybe. Cool? Definitely. Normally, you'd need a PC with a high-end GPU or a new console to actually use it. But the Steam Deck actually uses the same GPU architecture as both the new consoles and AMD's RX 6000 series, namely RDNA 2. So in theory, it also supports ray tracing. Normally, you'd have to actually install Windows to get it to work, and that is possible. You can do all kinds of things with the Steam Deck. But Valve just enabled RT for one specific game on the default Linux-based SteamOS operating system. I can see why they chose Doom Eternal. It's an extremely well-optimized game. Insanely so, actually. Without RT, on medium settings, 720p with FSR up to 1080p on an external display, it's getting well over 60 consistently, even touching 80 or 90 during exploration and traversal. And then when we enable RT, we've dropped that down to like 30 or 40. Normally on the Steam Deck, I say 30 or 40 is fine. I played a big chunk of Hogwarts Legacy at 30 on the deck. Doom Eternal, however, is a fast-paced, precise game without the generous auto lock-on of Hogwarts. It's also very difficult in the later levels, and even more so in the DLC. So any frame drops or inconsistencies at all are going to mess your aiming up. The reflections are pretty blurry if you get close, but that's likely down to the low source resolution. They look sharp on a full-size desktop running at 1440p, with every other setting identical. Remember, even though it's upscaling to 1080p, the deck is still only running the game at 720 RT is obviously extremely intense. That's why GPU vendors build dedicated hardware to run it. Dedicated hardware is always faster, but RT cripples even the 30 and 40 series RTX cards, and they're named after it. That is why Nvidia invented DLSS after all. I love RT, but that's because I have the PC to handle it. Frames per second comes first, and if I can't hit 60 or higher in a game like Doom, then RT turns off. The Steam Deck gets some leeway with its excellent 40 FPS mode, but as you saw, Doom barely even hit 40. Is it worth it? Is there a future for RT on the Steam Deck? For high-end games like Doom Eternal, probably not. But the PS5 only has a handful of games that run ray tracing and 60 FPS, and the PS5 doesn't have to worry about battery power. However, I do see a future for the Steam Deck, ray tracing, and indie games. Games like A Medieval, The Ascent, Pumpkin Jack, they're all much slower paced than Doom, and they all benefit from RT Reflections. So I do hope Valve opens up compatibility with more games to use RT on this thing. And I'll be there to cover it if and when it happens. I'll see you next time.